Hey everybody, um, I have something really cool to show you guys today. Um, this is one of the really awesome things I picked up at Oticon this year, uh, 2014. I picked this up at the Bluefin booth for a steal of $40. Um, it's my very first um, Chogokin, and obviously it's Hello Kitty, which is awesome. Oh my god, I'm so happy I picked this up. And I, honestly, I was putting it off for so long, I'm surprised it took me this long to get it. But, yeah, it's amazing. Just a quick look at the box before I open it. And just so you guys know, I haven't opened it yet. Um, so this is all brand new to me. There's Kitty Rocket Punch, which is amazing. Oh my god, it's so freaking cool. I can't even... And it comes with a really neat stand. And Hello Kitty can pilot herself. There's my cat. So let's open this up. There's the top of the box. Kitty Rocket Punch for the wind. And I really love the effect they put on this to give it that kind of really neat like comic pop art look. Which is awesome. Uh, let's see. Scissors. Let's see. I can do this one handed without maiming myself. There we go. First tape cut. Probably gonna need those pen. Now I jam my finger into the thing. I bet you guys are really enjoying seeing that on camera. There we go. I don't think that matters or anything. Oh look, more tape, yay. Let me put you guys down so I can get this out of the car. We're back from a very brief pause where I removed this from the top of this. So these are all my goodies here. Got this piece. We have Tiny, Hello Kitty, very cute, she's just the pilot, so she's got a little peg, she probably just kind of sits there, let's take her out of the bag so we have a better look, yeah, so glossy, really, really cool, Sanrio, so good. Little pig. I wonder, I wonder if she would fit my phone jack. Probably not. Probably better not to do that. Let's get some focus. There you go. You can see my dirty fingernails. I apologize. I changed my tire. I filled my tires today. So let's see what else we got here. I'm sure this is part of the stand. Nice. Glossy black pieces. There. Another glossy black piece. Probably gonna have to refer to the instructions at some point. Um, more stand pieces. If I had to guess, this is probably part of the bow. I'm gonna assume that. Oh, there's the other bow. Alright. Now for the, the main event get it because it's a cat the main event. Oh, it's probably more of a lion joke, but I mean. And it's all one piece, and good lord does this have weight to it. Obviously, because Chogokin. She's got a really cute overalls. And we'll get a good look inside the cockpit here. That's where Hello Kitty goes. The weight balance gets a little wonky sometimes. I'm going to apologize for that. After a brief pause and adjusting the weight balance, I am back. Here's Kitty. There is my Kitty trying to fit in the box. You can't fit in there. You're not a chill go king. So you don't belong in there. Good luck. I don't know why he does this. Anyway, I apologize. My cat interrupts all my videos. Here's a look inside the cockpit. Let's turn it around so you can actually see from Hello Kitty. She's got a little button there. Pretty cool. And it's a clear blue um, cockpit hatch. It's cool. Unlike all the characters in Double Zeta, I'm sure Kitty knows to shut the, the hatch. I trust and I believe. She's got her little tail. Little foot thrusters. Really, really cool. This is really nice, like I'm marveling at the weight of this, like there's really no way for me to kind of demonstrate, 
but this is heavy. And this is all beautiful. So let's put her down for a minute and see maybe. Put her down. There's more stuff in there. Oop! Oh, and then I came flying out because I'm stupid and didn't realize there were right parts in there. There's her little rocket fists. Thankfully, these are plastic. So as not to kill someone when using her rocket punch, because that would be really painful. So let's um, let's plug these in here. Put them to the really heavy kitty. Now this is probably so interesting. Maybe I'll add some music so it's less boring. There's her one hand. That snap is usually a good thing. Let's get her kitty pilot up in there. I wonder if her head moves. Nope, doesn't have to. That's fine. There we go. So, kitty pilot. I am a brain surgeon and cannot figure out how to shut this hatch. This is going to take some learning. Oh, look, I pressed the button and her eyes change. Oh, wow, okay. The little button here? Okay, I just figured out what that does. It's just her eyes. Angry kitty eyes. Neat. Can't shut the hatch, though, because I am a brain surgeon. Okay, let's see, maybe. There's lots of, um,. Switches that I'm not sure what they do. So, I'm gonna push this. Oh, you think that holds it in place? I bet it does. Yeah, it does. So, you push the bow back to hold the cockpit hatch in place. Why, why this red? It's because of the bow. Well, enjoy red. Okay. <laughs> So here's the release lever. You just kind of, it flops up. So there's that. So all you do to shut the, push the bow back, okay. Foot thrusters, I'm sure. Now let's see. There's some plastic back here. I'm just gonna yank it because that's what you do with toys. You yank the plastic out so it works screws and stuff. I wonder, hmm. I think rocket punch is as simple as lifting, oops, nothing, lifting up her arm, pointing it, and this is probably not something you should do at home, kids. There's this latch here, so I'm going to assume, 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 ah, oh, there it is. I hope you, I, you probably didn't even see that, but you heard it, right? There's the fist. So you, you, <laughs> you pull down the little latch, and it rocket punches. So that's really cool. Um, really neat. It's got gimmicks. Um, this is the floor. It's got gimmicks. Um, about it that are very cool, and appeal to me because I love these things. Um, little touches. Base is still at the bottom. I didn't even get to the base. Jeez. Oh, look, instructions. That thing I probably should have taken out before. So as not to look like an idiot fiddling with this thing. We'll get to those in a minute because reasons. So there's stuff at the bottom here that I haven't quite gotten to because it starts. Let's hold it upside down. Not working. Okay. So it's packed in there pretty good. Um, give me one second. Enjoy this shot of Hello Kitty on the floor. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this because this is literally my first opening of this uh, kit. So we're going to take a second break so I can just detape this. And we're back with directions and the stand. So here's the stand. Really, really nice. The gold shiny lettering. With the bow accent, of course, such as um, tradition. 
Mm. Nice plastic stamp. And we'll just go ahead and we'll put her. I wonder. Yeah, okay. There's little pegs that I guess go into her booster feet. So you just kind of stick her on the pegs. With some force. There you go. There's Kitty on her stand. Let's put her bow together because puzzles. It's really hard to do this one handed. So I've decided to stop doing the stupid thing and start actually reading the directions like a smart person would. So, pieces. We've got pieces. Hello Kitty's Thought Bubble probably says, Hey Ashley, stop being stupid and actually consult the directions. Because that's what they're there for. <laughs> so. Like I found out the hard way because I didn't look at the directions first. She goes in her cockpit and you push the bow back to lock it in place. Smart. Rocket punch fists go into the... Wrist joints, you cannot fit in that box. He really wants to fit in that box. You change the eyes with the console. That's cool. And this is really neat. You can I love when they do this with um optional parts. You can put them underneath for storage, which is amazing. So smart. I, I this is really just great for people who need like space saving options like I do, because everything fills up so quickly. Um, between Gumpla and figures and my obsession with Cheryl Gnome, so, you know, there's that. Um, you could sit her down. Evidently her butt has its own peg. I guess you could say that's her tail, but that's a strange tail for a cat, honestly. Still really cool. You can use her pose as flippers to make her look like a marine suit, which is really neat. I will probably not be doing that because I think it's cool to have her in rocket punch pose. You'll hear me say that a lot in this video because I'm a smart person. You can have her bow as a cape kind of thing, which I'll probably end up doing at one point. And you can kind of lay her, you know. But I, I like this pose the best, honestly. And, you know, like we did before, I could just push the Hello Kitty out. Take Hello Kitty. Here she is. Again, little peg. And you put her right next to her meow bull suit. Ah, aren't I funny? Don't you guys love it? I know. I'll be here all night. And then you just snap it back into place. And there you are. Hello, oh, kitty. Here's that. You're great. Obviously, this video wasn't a very good um, demonstration of all the things it can do. But you can see it illustrated here. She can, you know, have a cape or flippers, rocket punch, lots of options. Um, you know, obviously not going to have as many gimmicks as um, a more complicated um, item like, a, let's say, like a getter, getter robo or, you know, a Gundam, let's say. Um, because... Well, it's a cat mecha, so I mean, it's got it's got really cool options uh, for what it's worth, and for forty dollars, I mean, it's just incredible quality and um, adorable to boot, which is always a good thing. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, you know, I kind of fumbled through this because I literally did this all with one hand because cell phone camera because don't have expensive camera, but. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be posting more, um, more Gumplot-related stuff soon, I promise. It's just hard to do with time and everything. And also, I'm going to apologize about the orientation, because I know everyone hates it when you don't do um, horizontal recording, but I'm sorry. I do what I want, so yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.